Hi, I'm Ron Calhoun, Turfgrass Extension Specialist with Michigan State University. It's the middle of January, but I find myself here at the Hancock Center on Michigan State's campus to see what kind of research they might be up to in the middle of the winter. So here we are out on the annual bluegrass putting green area, uh, just north of the Fuller Building, and I'm with Aaron Hathaway. Uh, what do you got going on here, Aaron? Well, Ron, uh, it's cold here in Michigan, yeah, I'm especially it. right now, and it's usually cold here in the winters in Michigan, so we thought it'd be a good idea to utilize some of the things that are going to happen every year here anyway. So, we wanted to look at some winter kill mm -hmm. projects this year. And those are the plots going on behind us? Exactly. So, you can see that uh, we have a couple different trials right here in this area. This is an annual bluegrass putting green, and we have one with edging around it and we have one without edging around it. So you're so, using like landscape edging sticking up. Exactly. And what's that, what's that going to do? Well, we, we had two, two goals. Winter kill is kind of an overarching term mm -hmm. and uh, a function of winter kill can be desiccation. Right. It can be crown rehydration. Oh, right. And then freezing. Um, and then a couple other things too, but we wanted to look at desiccation. So we have one uh, without edging and Maybe as the wind moves over that area, uh, perhaps more in the spring and maybe from the fall, we can get some drying of those plants. And then this other trial where we have the edging around it, we wanted to look more at crown rehydration and see if we can't get some freezing. So talking about when the temperatures warm up and you might get some rain or, or melt of snow, the plants take up that, that moisture and then it refreezes. Definitely. And then, okay. And we may look at adding some supplemental water of our own as it warms up, perhaps in the spring, okay. maybe above 45 degrees, we might add some water to this area to try to increase the chances of some of that crown rehydration. I see Jeff Bryan's out there with a broom. What's he, what's he doing? Well, we have a couple treatments in here and one of the uh, difficulties that you have is that we don't always have winter kill happening on every putting green in every area of every putting green here right. at the turf center or, or anywhere else. So we want to increase our chances. So we're looking at treatments to increase our chances of getting winter kill and we're looking at different treatments that may prevent winter kill as well. So we're kind of doing the whole kitchen sink here. So is it is it exacerbated or protected by the presence of snow cover? The exactly. other ones maybe you get more desiccation. Exactly. So that's, that's pretty cool. One of the treatments is snow removal. So you uh -huh. can see Jeff removing snow. Great. Well, as you can see, uh, even in the dead of winter, there's some research going on here at the Turf Center to try and address those problems that uh, we have from time to time and try to figure out the why and the when.